Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? Start by hopping off my Donnie. With me. One, two, three. This sounds dangerous. Again. One, two, three. He's trying again. Listen, this won't stop until we make it to the moon. There's no oxygen at the moon, you stupid One, rabbit. Two? Oh no, don't look at your feet. None of that matters. Again, again. Why is he so frustrated? Jump. Chicken, chicken moment. What's that thing? I think it might be another hand. It's red, and it packs a punch. Cat crap, the oversized litter trap is in for a world of pain. Realistically, I doubt that's going to do anything to him, Donald. Stop letting the internal thoughts win, Joe. He'll be Kentucky Fried Feline once I'm done with him. Don't let PETA hear that one. Why are they just littering TVs and tapes everywhere? This one wasn't even that hard to find. It adds to the story, but I don't know why they're color-coded especially. I'm not a big fan of the cover on this one. Is that a claw or something? Stupid clunky elevator. Oh, it's this guy. What was that, Richie? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Richie worked here for quite some time, it seems. They have the audio playing from the Playcare trolley ride, so they're down here, aren't they? I wouldn't be either. Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? He has a good point. Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> Sorry. Talk to him, Richie. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. Seems reasonable to be upset about. Take notes, Don. Pipe down. You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. He really does resemble you, Donald. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. Richard, don't fumble this. I'm Nothing official yet, but I think there's a decent guy beneath all that crap. Forget what I said. Hardworking man. Yeah, never mind. You prove me right. I said your chances are pretty good. Who is this guy, anyways? Oh, I, uh, geez, I don't know what to say. I... Probably the supervisor or something. Glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rick. Not everybody. This is a wild theory, but is it possible that we're Richie? I mean, his name has been mentioned the most often in these tapes. Laith Pierre and Elliot Ludwig have been mentioned too, but since they've all been a part of corporate, I doubt we would be one of them. Also, Elliot is dead, so it can't be him. Whoever we are, we're lucky that all these contraptions still work after 10 years. One loose circuit and we could be falling to our death. Maybe we know what we're doing because this is the technology that we've dealt with for so long. I found it odd how there was a grab pack just sitting out near the receptionist's desk. You're telling me any ordinary Joe could get a hold of that? Why do you even need something like that facilitated in a factory? Considering that they engineered a giant slinky cat that seeps laughing gas. What the? Donald, did you just fall through the earth? I didn't even do anything. I just died. Well, I was going to say that this may stay a mystery for now, but it might be forever at this point. And I've been brought back to Earth by the gracious Poppy Playtime developers. Hopefully they don't put any more quicksand traps in here. Maybe it was just the Earth's crust physically unable to support your ego. I thought you were going to say wait for a second. If the shoe fits. Like, look at all this. You're telling me this was in their everyday use. These types of shenanigans are probably what sunk this place into the hole that it's in. Quite the complicated circuitry we got going on here. Like I said, I don't know why they were utilizing laser technology, but they clearly thought it was needed for whatever reason. All this circuitry, but they didn't want to provide real teachers, just some faulty animatronic women. And trust me, I've dealt with my fair share of thirsty animatronic women. I said faulty, not thirsty. Oh, it's practically the same in my books.
It's really not. Springtrap could be considered faulty, and I would hope he wouldn't be thirsting after any of us. He was thirsty in a different way. He was thirsty for blood, just like how I'm thirsty to get done with these puzzles. How much longer do we have of this game? It's been going strong for at least three hours now. Obama's right. I've been looking around to neuter this cat, and he's nowhere to be found. Isn't this his chapter? I have to think that we're getting to the point of the end, or at least close to it. We better because my hunger is beating on my stomach like a bongo drum, and it's calling the name Texas Roadhouse. What steak do you get anyways? Are you telling me that I can't reach this thing? Oh, I get a rare steak. Uh, if it's from Texas Roadhouse, it probably has enough blood that it's still mooing. And that's just the way I like it. I'll eat its mother, too. Come on, bring me another plate. Donald, you're the type of person to go to Olive Garden and treat unlimited breadsticks like they were actually unlimited. You're telling me it's not. If it's not true, then why do they market it unlimited? If I came here for some breadsticks, you're going to give me some breadsticks. It's so impressive that you can talk about food while simultaneously solving a puzzle that you've never done before. Quite honestly, I think some props need to be given. You think this is my first time at this food rodeo? Please, I'm just getting started. That's a sleeper build that should just keep sleeping. This is what the taxpayer money was going to all these years, that and an underground stratosphere. An entire Rube Goldberg invention is what's going to take us back to play care. We still have almost three other power cells to connect. I wonder if that means we still have another half of the game to go. Why is the music kicking in? Tell me, why is the music kicking in? We might be entering another area where we have to face- Is that catnap at a shrine? What am I looking at? Don't ask me. He's praying to whatever that is. It's a ball of death. It has those old toys on there. What a sicko this freaky feline is. I don't know if it's sensitive to sound, but try to be quiet while going down this contraption. We don't need to be treated like a scratching tree. That entire ordeal was just creepy to watch. He's gone. He's gone. We're not safe in here. Pack your bags, boys, because Ollie is about to have some bunk mates. Never heard of a vet being scared of its own patients, but times are changing. Not when we're getting crept up on. Wait, Playhouse. Isn't that the area that Ollie said was super dangerous? It can't be as bad as being ruled over by a ruly teacher. No matter what, we're probably in for it. Uh, yeah, especially with the loading screen, too. We're definitely in for it now. Well, behind me is a ritual where I saw a caterpillar double-cheeked up. So it looks like this is a one-way road. You gotta love it when a fun name like Playhouse has old security walls and red floodlights. What is that? Uh, what the? What is uh, that? I don't know, but get away from it. Don't gotta tell me twice. It's growling, it's growling at me. What is that thing? I think it's a smiling critter, but I didn't know they made small lifelike versions of them. He's back for more. How do we get rid of it? Go away, go away. Oh. oh. Well, it seems like we have our next issue then. This little minion cut my legs down like a lumberjack. Uh, why couldn't I kick him? What's gonna be our way to combat that? Well, we have a new glove that shoots fire. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be used for? In a playhouse, that might start a fire. Then let's burn this place to the ground. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Sure, why not? I love you to the moon and back. Bugs Bunny just died there. I'm crazy about you. New Donald love interest just dropped. I'm lost without you. Certainly this can't be good. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? Yes. Don, there's one right there. Well, pop goes the weasel. Were these things just littered around all the playhouse? And I wouldn't call this much of a playhouse. I feel like it's a torture room in here. And you're not even the one walking around in it. How do you think I feel? It does look exhausting. Whoa, what a quick fire. Try again, you terrible toy. Wait, you don't even have to hit them? I suppose not. Donald pretty much walked out of that unscathed. I only got attacked by a pillow pet. I wonder how strong these things are. They do have muscle. Back, foul beast. I said back. So the light or fire just makes them crawl back into the dark shadows they came from. I wonder if we'll have a whole zombie herd to light a blaze. Where are you? and stay trapped under the rubble where trash belongs. Matter of fact, this place reminds me of the old bouncy houses that carnivals would put up for the children. I used to take my sons on those all the time. Or those tubes that you could go into at Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if they had these circuit boxes in there too, but a little birdie in my head tells me that we're gonna have to abra our cadavers and make some magic happen to turn these on. Uh, where did that one go? 
I think it just moonwalked its way into the 10th dimension. These things are more than mildly annoying. It's like trying to pick up some food off the ground and I'm battling a flock of crows. Do I really have to sit here and pretend that a multi-billionaire sucking up food from the ground is normal? No, but did you see that flick? I don't even need to play any aim trainer to be the world's best FPS player. If we're able to fit through these tunnels, does that make us super small or these tunnels super large? I wonder what the average day in this place was. Wake up, get intoxicated from catnap, see kick and chicken hit a couple of skater flips and go to class while Miss Delight chases you with a mace. I'm pretty sure that you just described a morning press conference by Commander-in-Chief Joseph Biden. Funny way of saying Mar-a-Lago. Time to platform. I couldn't make it. Let me through this thing. I'm not trying to die. Are you noticing how every one of these things are practically sentient? What sort of experiments were these scientists doing? I wouldn't even say practically. They look like they certainly know what they're doing. Look at the gang pulling up to cause mischief. Now you're going to stay in your corner because I'm here to investigate the mess. This kind of reminds me of taking hallucinogenics with a teddy bear staring at you in the corner. What were you doing in your youth, Barack? Catnip. If he tried catnip instead of being a freak. You got another one, Don. Someone wants to turn into rotisserie. What the? Uh, oh, wow. Why is he hitting the stanky leg? I thought he was twerking for a second. Stop throwing it back, kicking chicken. There, ease yourself out of this. You don't need any rogue pelvic movements. I'm noticing that there's a lot more buggy features with this chapter than there were the other two. Unless we played the game when it was out for a couple years, so there was time to fix the bugs. Look at these little miscreants lurking. The only bug that I have are these gnats trying to gobble my giblets off. You're what? And just like that, master puzzle solver Donald brings us up from the trash heap once again. What's our objective in here besides avoiding marketable plushies? Are we just trying to get back to the other side of play care? Are these things still following me? I have a blaze hand and I'm not afraid to use it, you little freaks. No, I think we're good. Also, I couldn't tell you, Barack. I remember that we need to connect the power strips to the statue area, so we might have to get the lines from the school and here. Wait, I just came from here. This place is just like a giant mirror maze from a small circus. I said this before, but for being abandoned, it's oddly well kept up. I think the smiling critters were on cleaning duty. They didn't clean this up. We got a pool area here, it seems. Are these ducks alive too? Been a while since I've had some tender duck, but I could always get Laffy for Daffy. Next thing we're gonna enter is a bowling alley at this point. I don't understand why this place sucked. All you have to do is slap some TikTok in front of these kids to keep them occupied. And you got yourself a pretty relaxed orphanage. I don't know what parts of two big keys in a tattered play place is speaking the words relaxed. Not going down there. For all I know, Huggy Wuggy is probably lurking around somewhere below. Are we gonna ask what these cages are for, or is that just gonna... Whoa! Huh? What the, the... It's the dog! It's dog day! What is happening? What are you doing, Don? Listen to him. I am. Whoa. The little plushies? Wait, he's missing legs. It's like he's tortured. What happened here? Well, heretics. They were trying to bust my balls. So Ollie was wrong. I'm trying. You need to live. Okay, I understand. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Something's happening. It's the toys. Back up, Don. They're going inside him. Is that where he gave birth to them? Those screams. Don, back up. What are they doing to him? Back up, you idiot. Something's not right. Zero survival instinct. Oh, he's chasing after us. The floor fell through. It's almost like we were telling you to back up. You absolute nincompoop. 
I get it, I'm dumb. Now shut up, he's chasing me. Just focused on, stop yapping. Fireball's not stopping him. I see that, Obama. Dead end. It's a dead end. I passed he's it. right there. Ah! Oh! Well, Donald, have we learned our lesson of listening to other people when they're telling you to back up? I wanted to see if he needed a wheelchair. That's not Franklin Roosevelt, it's a hairy, legless animal. So Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, you got some momentum now and nowhere to go. Don't get too ahead of yourself. There's some distance, so take your time to analyze where you have to go. All right, let me cook. Wow, I thought that was a dead end already. Actually, he sounds right behind us, so just keep turning and burning. No, I was gonna take my sweet time. Too many options, I'm going this way. Dead ends, Don, be careful. Dead end. We're back on track, though. Where do we go? Uh, forward, that's where. He sounds right behind us, might want to pick up the pace. There's multiple slides. The blue one, the blue one is always right. That should create some distance, keep going. The door open, I think we're good. Never mind. How is he right there? Pull out your hand, the Don. Purple hand. I'm trying, come on. I did it. Let's go, Don. That's what I'm talking about, baby. This place keeps lobbing them up and I keep knocking them out of the park. Wait, don't tell me there's more. Donald, you might want to put on the running shoes again. Uh, I guess I'll go down this slide. And we have a loading screen, so I think we're in the clear. Well, talk about some high stress. So much just happened in the past half hour that I think I'm getting lightheaded. My hands feel like it's been through the lower half of dog day. I think you've very much earned a break, Don. Let's see if I can muster through the rest of this game. Catnap is about to use your kryptonite on you. We are cooked. It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.